Hi, this is Jasmine Tohidi, and this week I wanted to discuss how to write a supporting affidavit for a marriage-based case. I had a consultation this week where an applicant's petition was denied, and one of the reasons listed for the denial was the affidavits in support of the application did not contain enough detail. How much detail does USCIS want? First and foremost, the letter must contain the person's name, their date of birth, and their address. Next, they should tell us how do they know you and how do they know you and your spouse. So for instance, it's not enough to say, I know Mr. and Mrs. Jane Doe, they're a very nice couple. This doesn't tell us anything about the relationship. The letter should state, how do they know you? How have they met you as a couple? What kinds of things do you do together? So for instance, have they been over to your home for dinner? Do you guys go to church or a mosque together? Um, have you gone out to the movies? Have you visited each other at each other's homes? All of that detail lets them know that you actually do know the couple. Uh, at the end of the letter, you want to make sure you write, I declare under the penalty of perjury that the foregoing is true and correct. The person should sign their name, provide the date, and then I also recommend that that individual provide their ID so USCIS knows that they're a real person who wrote this in support of your case. Leaving these levels of detail is important, so it doesn't matter how many letters you have, what really matters is the quality of those letters. If you have any further questions, you can call my office for a consultation. I hope you have a nice weekend.